So good evening, everyone. My name is Angela Mills, and I work for the town manager's office for the town of Amherst. This is a meeting of the Public Art Commission, and this meeting is being recorded into the cloud and will be uploaded by our very capable friends in the Information Technology Department, and will be posted to the Town of Amherst YouTube channel probably within 10 days. Pursuant to Governor Healy's extension of COVID mandates, um, we are conducting this meeting on Zoom, and it is open to the public, and the link has been published 48 hours before this day and time on the Town of Amherst website. So at this time, I'd like to turn things over to the chair, Terry Holt, and I wanna thank everyone for their wonderful service. Thank you, Angela. So Hi, how many everyone. we got right now? We're still waiting. We're gonna wait a little bit more for Robert. He, he should be here. Okay. And Dara, um, Dara's gonna make I, it. I, I, I so, um, Terry, Robert's in the attendee room. If you want to, as host, you can pull him in. You can make him a panelist. Uh huh. If you just click on his name on the attendee on the panelist list, it sh it should show you who's in the attendee room, and then you oh, click on his is. name in the attendee room, and I think allowed to you talk. Can... <laughs> nope. It, there's the promote. Panelists. Yeah, there you go. That one. There you go. Beautiful. All right. Robert's here. Hi, Robert. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I'm still waiting for Dara. Hi. So I'm I'm gonna take off if you guys are feeling okay. And thank you for waiting for quorum. And Robert, it's always good to hear and see you. Likewise, Angela. Take care. Thanks, Angela. Be well. Thank you, thanks. Good afternoon. How's everyone doing? Good, how are you? I should say evening, it's six o'clock. Uh, we're gonna wait just a few more minutes and see if Dara's gonna come. I didn't get any uh, any indication she was not gonna be here. So we'll wait just a couple more minutes. So while we are waiting, um, we have quorum right now, but we can have a little talk. Uh, so welcome to the Amherst Public Arts Commission meeting of May 11th, 2023. I am Terry Holt, I'm your chair. Uh, in light of the ongoing coronavirus outbreak, um, we're still going by the emergency order from March 12th, 2020, allowing public bodies greater flexibility in utilizing technology and the conduct of meetings under the open meeting law. Um, pursuant to chapter 20 of the acts of 2021, this meeting will be conducted via remote means. Members of the public who wish to access the meeting may do so by clicking the Zoom link. So uh, I think I need to, that's about all I need to say. Um, all right, let's give her a couple more minutes. Well, let's give her one more minute and see if she's going to show up. In the meantime, man, it's a beautiful day. I'm getting fantastic solar. I don't know about you. <laughs> I'm excited because I just got solar all installed. So I'm like, Oh, oh you did so cool. oh, great yeah very cool we can't get it because we live in the woods oh i'm yeah. sorry same problem i i just got a quote for it but it doesn't pay you know break even until like year eight or nine and i'm thinking oh, i'm not sure i'll be here yeah okay so Here's you're one that to talk now <laughs> yeah <laughs> All right, uh, 605, we'll go ahead and let me make sure she's not in the, no, she's not in there. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and start our meeting and if she comes along, we'll, we'll keep an eye out. Okay, so um, everybody have an agenda? I actually was just looking for it on the town website and was not finding it, but I'm sure it's there. Yeah, okay. Uh, Jim, are you ready for a minute? So do you need a few more minutes? Uh, nope, I'm all set. Thanks to getting the agenda. I set up all my framework. Welcome. Ready to go. Okay, Nothing. so um, this meeting is now called to order. Um, our roll call, when I call your name, tell me that you're here. Mikey Cutting? Here. Jim Barnhill? Yep, here. Roy Friedman? Here. Robert Brainin? Here. Howdy. Okay. 
Um, I would invite public comment, but there is nobody to invite. So we'll breeze over that. Approval of the April minutes. Do we have, do we get a copy of those yet, Jim? I don't remember if I got those. I sent them out. I'm, anybody have any, anything to say about the minutes? I think I might have not seen them in my email inbox, oh. so. Really? If I have any problems, I'll get back to you, Jim, okay? Well, can we, that sounds like we can't approve them. Well, let's take a look. I don't know why I didn't see them. Did everybody else get them? I'm looking for them now. Okay. Well, they would have come out right after the meeting because I'm, I'm having trouble with my computer like crazy. I mean, the mail app is giving me grief, so it's possible that yeah. I sent them, but they refused to. Um, I have one that was sent, um, received on 424 that has the um, draft minutes. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Um, that's fine mine. Okay. I mean, I, do you want me to share my screen with them or? Oh, yeah, you could you could do that. Um, I'm having a little trouble. My Gmail is running very slow. So if you don't mind, could you do that? Yeah, I think you need to make me a co-host. Yeah. Making you a co-host, go ahead. Oh, got it. Okay, let's see. Great, thank you. Great. Okay, everything looks looks good to me. Okay, so I move that we um, what, accept, approve the minutes from the April 25th, 2023 meeting. Anybody second? I second. Great. All in favor, raise your hand. Okay. Motion passes unanimously. Thank you. All right, moving on. Chair report. All right. Um, chair report. Okay. Um, so uh I met with Shoshona King last week and uh get some information on how the commission historically runs and how to put our best foot forward. And Shoshona shared her ideas about how to network in town to get to know the artists and organizations so that we can collaborate with them. I will be working on that in the coming months. Uh, she also brought me for a tour of town hall where I met Angela Mills, who's fantastic. I love her. Um, I can now check our mailbox at the Jones Library. So that was great. A good meeting. Um, to deal with what I hope will be a lack of centralized repository of our upcoming calls for artists, uh, I requested the addition of a call for artists page on the commission's homepage of our town website. Uh, Jim, I'm going to send you this so that you don't have to type all this in, okay? Um, okay. Uh, I sent Angela a very detailed request for the page. Uh, we need a more visible, easy to find location for all of our calls for art since we're going to be having more coming up in the future, I'm hoping. Angela agreed to forward along our request to the communications director, Brianna Sunride. Sunride? Um, so um, that is the thing that is going to happen. I'm, I'm, I'm led to believe, and that'll be great. So uh, if you've seen our homepage, there's like, there's like four boxes and you can click on one of the four. Um, and one of those four will now be calls for artists. So right on our homepage on the website, you'll see calls for artists and it'll bring you right to a, just basically a posts page that will just list the calls. So, and the first one would be, of course, the making it public. Um, okay, moving on. Uh, for making it public, I created a new post on the Facebook page for Amherst Public Art reminding local artists about the project and its upcoming deadline, which is May 14th, which we'll be talking about later in the meeting. Um, 
Regarding strategic planning, I met with Robert on Sunday for a conversation on our possible next steps, and we'll get to that later. And on Boltwood Porthole Gallery, uh, the fiscal year deadline, I contacted Julianne Applegate and Matt Holloway, who are the co-chairs of the Amherst Cultural Council, and I asked for an extension of the deadline, and uh, they sent me a document to fill out, so I will be filling that out and sending it in. Um, I still think maybe we might want to uh, go forward with a call for art just in case, also because since they meet once a month, it might be hard for them to get back to us. Eh, we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, also, I toured the gallery and I opened the locked door and I took a, lock, a look inside to see what the setup is and I took a movie of it so I can actually share that with you. But um, what I can tell you is that there are five little windows and a cute little thing you pull out to put the art in and stuff it back and there's a there's a uh, every uh, all five have a, a place you can plug in something. I checked three of the plugs they work so my assumption was that they probably all work so I was pretty excited by that. Um, okay, I wanted to thank Mikey for her excellent work curating for our town hall gallery. I don't know if you've been to town hall lately, but uh, it's beautiful. Um, I love the latest, the latest installation. Um, I'm hoping some of us will be able to help in the future to help her install. I'm happy to do that. So that's exciting. Thank you so much. And also, Dara's not here, but congratulations to her. I don't know if you've heard. Uh, she's one of the May 2023 featured poets in the Emily Dickinson's Museum's Phosphorescence Poetry Reading Series on May 18th, which is exciting. It's virtual. Um, hope you can attend. I don't think I'll be able to attend on that day. I'm going to be busy running a funeral, so I will not be there, but I hope you all can make it. It sounds, it sounds fantastic, and I'm so proud of her for getting in there. Um, I'll, and so all of this I'll be putting in the minutes, so I'll, the link will be there as well if you want to attend. Okay, and that is the end of my chair report. And I'm gonna send this to you right now, Robert. Or sorry, not Robert, Jim. One second. Yeah. Not gonna send it to Robert? Well, Robert's pretty cool. I wouldn't mind being called Robert. <laughs> Robert doesn't want it. <laughs> no, I think he does. <laughs> He's like, no, it's, no thanks. <laughs> it's, like, it's like play catch, only the job is not to catch it. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. All right, and all right, sending that sent. Okay. All right, so our first order of business is the treasury report. So Robert, if you want to take the floor. And I can make you co-host if you want to use the, if you want to share screen or anything. Yeah, I, it'll be a very brief report. I really have nothing new to add to um, what was reflected in the minutes the last time about the balance in our account. Um, I was, I, I did follow up with um, Holly, I believe her name is, the controller at the town, because there was some question about whether the, I think it was $2,000 or 2500 I think, trying to clarify if that money for the um, Portal Gallery was actually reflected in that balance, the 4,100 such dollars. I have not heard back from her, so um, I don't know. Do you want me to follow up with her? Well, you could try, and I, I guess maybe also with your contacts at the Cultural Council to see if they have a record of having transferred the funds or made the payment. Okay. I guess my other question would be, and maybe we've already talked about this. I think Shoshona shared with me some financial records, but they seem to end uh, a few years ago. So there seems to be a gap. Um, so I'm thinking we'll just start fresh, you know, from whatever balance we're told we have and go from there in terms of record keeping. I don't think it's necessarily worth the time and effort to try to recreate um, the past few years. So, um, I agree with you. On that. When, sorry, I agree with you on that. Okay, um, I don't think it's worth the time to reconstruct what we have spent um, the last couple of years. Let's just go put our best foot forward, starting today. Yeah, and and once we start uh, engaging in activities that have financial uh, impact, we'll we'll. Uh, We'll keep track and and that way we can report on uh, how we're doing, how much money we have left, that sort of thing. Sounds good. So do you have a approximately a current balance, known balance? 
It, you, it was the balance that was mentioned in the minutes that we just approved. I think it was something like 4184 and some change. Oh. Mike, no, so the current point. balance hasn't changed from the last meeting. Right. It's four thousand one hundred eighty four dollars and twenty eight cents. Thank you. I just, I just put it hadn't changed. So I think um, as we do move forward, Robert, I, you'll be probably designing a process for how we handle our the money and the budget and, and just if you'll just document everything so that we will actually have great, you know, documents to hand over to whoever, you know, follows in our footsteps. Right. Ideally, ideally, each project that we undertake uh, will create a budget for it. So we know the costs, we know how much money we have to raise, and then then we track it that way. So um, yeah, we'll, we'll definitely have some documentation going forward. Great. So we'll have spreadsheets. I love spreadsheets. We'll have spreadsheets. Very It'll exciting. Very exciting stuff. Yes. <laughs> All right. Anything else? Anything for Robert? All right. Moving on to Town Hall Gallery exhibitions. Mikey, you want to take the floor for that? Sure. I don't have the photographs because I can't, I don't know how you do it. But anyway, um, Taryn Reese Town Hall talked to Shoshana and I back in September. And then about two months ago, she said, I'm ready. I'm ready to put it up. And I went, what? <laughs> So I, she didn't know the process. Anyway, she does colored pencil drawings and they Who look exquisite. Karen right? Reese Tunnel. Can Pen you Karen say Reese that Tunnel. slowly? I'm sorry, can you say that again slowly? Karen Reese, R-E-E-S-E, -E -E, Tunnel, T-U-N-N-E-L-L. -E -L. Great, thanks. And she's gonna, um, so, um, Shoshana and I agreed to have her. So we, um, I told her she could do July and August because right. um, Stephanie's will be done at the end of June. Okay, sounds good. So I she, have her uh, her website if you want to join. Oh, great. She's got a website. So uh, I'm going to try to share my screen and see if we can get this to work. Okay, can you give me the uh, link? Uh, yep, it's Karen K A R E N T U N N E L dot com slash gallery okay. slash landscapes. All right. All right, let's see if I can do this. Okay, magic. Do you see? Do you hear? Yay. Yeah, I see it. Okay. Uh, this thing is move out of the way. Okay, so uh, yeah, she's got she's got beautiful stuff here. Right, I'll see. each one. Um, and they're colored pencil. These are these are just gorgeous. I was looking through them when you told me about her, Mikey, and I just I just think her stuff is gorgeous. Yeah, she so. also did uh, textiles, so summer textiles, but now she does um, so, drawings. Can you drag the corner of that so that it enlarges on the screen so we can see it better? Because it's really worth looking at. You know what I mean? Did it, you know how there to do that? Go. Here we go. Here we are. There we go. You see a little better. Uh, so ghost trees, woven landscapes, Heron. These are just so pretty. Wow. This is so nice in town hall. So thank you, Mikey. Sure. So gorgeous. All right. So that's coming up. And then after uh, after, after her, she is done, then it's Isabella Halstead, which I will get pictures of. She's already had one show. She had a show um, all through town um, okay. when, uh, when um, uh, God, what's her name? Uh, now I drew a blank. Crowley. Um, hold on. So when the old person that ran the uh, the town hall was running it, she did an exhibit at the town hall of her um, horses. So did I send okay. you any of those? I didn't see Isabella's. Those stuff did not come through in the email, but um, okay. I can take, um, I can to take a look at her, but. Right, right. She doesn't have a website at this point, but okay. she does uh, watercolor paintings as well as, um, oil it 
oil paintings, but she is been at UMass for many years. She teaches uh, English, uh, English as a second language. She's retired now. She's 85 and she is the granddaughter of the famous artist, uh, Charles Hopkinson. Oh my goodness. Who was the artist for the presidents. Wow. So, okay. um, wow. and she lives right here in Amherst. That's exciting. And so I have her slated for September and October. And then we have our famous Jim Barnhill. Oh, so no. for November and December. Hey, Jim. Thanks. And Jim, you sent me the, um, it was an email and because I just got it. Oh, really? Yep. So it was not a text, it was an email. So, so, uh, so if you have any photographs yeah. of your photograph, I'd say put one up. And Jim will be November and December. All right. Uh, quick question, Mikey, because I just don't know how this goes. Uh, do we invite any artists from outside of Amherst? Um, well, yeah, because Stephanie lives in uh, Northampton now. So Pioneer Valley basically is what we right, we, right. okay great I, I don't even know if if there's a limit to that um, Shoshana just said to me anybody okay because I know we have an on plane air society in town and I I mean I would love I would love they, to have some kind of right they have a show right now at Leverett Art Center yeah that's so exciting I would love to you know get some kind of festival and get some of those in town hall and and I've been. Right. I've been going to lots of galleries and um, craft shows, and there's been a lot of artists showing up at craft shows around here, and I have been just grabbing cards. So, right. I have so I've got a, a lot of cards. cards. Yeah. But the problem is with crafts, we don't have yes. any plinths in the uh, town hall gallery that we can put them in. We have no space. It can only be on the wall. Right. So that's one thing. And what was the other? And the other thing is, oh, it's Amy Crawley, who used to run the oh, Town Hall cool. Gallery. They used to have um, Thursday night uh, openings and Thursday yeah. night, arts, you know, the arts night. So yeah. people would come in and they would see the, all the different artists. That kind of died with COVID. Right. Yeah. So um, I don't know if that's coming back. I think it's too well, early for us to figure that out. From yeah. what I was told, it's something that happened through the Public Arts Commission. Yes, it was. And that's so, something that, that's up uh, to we, us. We can talk about it, but I think we still have to wait for more COVID uh, letting down, you know, some more guidance. Right. Right. But okay. I, I can, that has been led by us and I would love to, to take that up again. Right. I agree. But I think that's the biggest hurdle with artist work in the town hall. I please put this on hold. I am experiencing a computer disaster, which I cannot save the minutes. It is frozen, and I'm afraid I'm in the process of losing what I've done so far. Oh, no. So I just need time That's to hopefully. Well, I'll ask a minutes. question that doesn't have to go in the minutes. If an okay. artist wants to show um, at the town hall gallery do they just go online and they fill out the form and you get yes. that mikey well actually i haven't been getting it um there's i'm supposed to be getting it and i gave um angela my my email but i haven't got gotten anything i did get one from terry about a student at umass right and yeah, i thought we'd wait on that grouping till next year when they're sent so, to me, I'm just forwarding them to should you. Should I send you if I have an artist who wants to show their? Yeah, I would rather than direct them to the website. I should direct. Yeah, them to a, you. I mean, I, I think it's easier just to direct them to me, and then um, I can look at their website. I can look at their stuff, but I'd also like more people on my committee. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, I hear you. I, I, the, yeah. That's that we're going to talk about is calling for volunteers and getting more people involved in us in our commission and that's right. something that we're going to be working on in the future right because this is a lot of work it's yeah. much and more I'll, work than i thought i bet and i'll i'm happy to help you in the next time you're you're yeah. hanging out also um i did talk to jeff uh starter at, at amherst high school one of the art teachers there's five right now and um, asked him about students that would be interested. And he said next fall, there might be quite a few okay. through the year that might be interested. So Great. that's a good, wow. it's good so for them. On our calls for artists page that we are having uh, the town of Amherst do for us, I think we'll make sure that we have a, a link to apply for the town gallery too. So 
Well, yeah, I mean, there, true, but, you know, but there it, is currently a place on our, I'm, I'm on that site now, but yeah. you know, if you're not getting it, that's not good. Yeah. Right. Like I'm not getting anything. I'm hoping that will all live under the same heading on this page that we're having them create. So that because it says public art commission, and then there's applications and you can upload slide images and yeah. it's yeah. a whole thing. So it, if it's not going to anyone that, that really is a problem. And well, I don't know going who, who with the town do we work with? Angela is sending those to me right now. So I haven't, I have only gotten the one okay. so far. Well, that's okay. fine too. They can go to you if you just forward them to me, which you yeah. did the last time. Yeah. That's yeah. totally fine. Okay. So, so you are getting them. Well, as far as I know, I'm one. Them. Right. <laughs> well, that's good. I mean, if you, yeah, that's good. Um, okay. When you can put Excellent. a pause on this, my 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 file is frozen. I cannot save it. I cannot take a screenshot. I can't do diddly. Oh dear. Huh. So I may have to just force close it, which is going to kill me because I'm going to lose the draft minutes that I've already done. Well, this is all recorded, so we can always. Oh. Break Okay, now I'm not so, yeah, okay, good point. Why don't you just start from, you know, like close it down and then just start from when you boot yeah, another one up. Don't worry about that's it. That's what I'm gonna have to do, which is what I just did. I hadn't yeah. thought about it being recorded. That's that's my out. Yeah. Okay, wait a minute. Ooh, ooh, it's gonna recover it for me. Oh, nice. Oh, fantastic. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was. You gotta love it. Okay, um, oh, so anything you, else from my please? Team? Please nope. don't go, let me. We just have everything to the end of this year. Great. Which is good. Awesome. Okay. All right. Okay, I'm back. You're good? Yeah, I'm good now. Okay. Okay, so let's move on then to Boltwood Walk Gallery Call for Artists. Um, I'll talk about that first. Um, I'm calling it porthole gallery. Is it portal or porthole? Well, we called it the porthole gallery before. Porthole, okay. Or portal. I was like P O R T A L or P O R T H O L. We called it P O R T A L, but I like porthole. I think it's actually P O R T A L. Yep. Well, I have been misspeaking all along. I apologize. We can call it anything we want. <laughs> well, well, there is actually a sign, so we should probably go. Oh, oh, oh yeah. We should probably right, go yeah. with that. <laughs> Okay, so what can I uh, change okay. the portal? Change the so, bolt um, walk the portal anyways, gallery. I went into the closet. I have a key. And uh the five windows for art all have a frame. Um and uh it's it's pretty cool. You, like I was saying, you you pull out it's like a little wooden box, like with the black, it's like painted black, a little wooden box, and you put your art uh in it and then you just push it back in so that it's um there's like some dimension to it. That's why you can put little sculptures in there too. It's not just a flat surface, it could be flat too. Um, it really would uh, do well with some lighting. I think um, having a little something that has lighting would be really cool right there. Um, anyway, I took video. I can share that with you. Um, uh, I will be filling out the form that the Amherst Cultural Council sent to me, and I'll send that in. But I'd also like to, I'd like to move forward with putting this out there. I realize we're not gonna get any any calls, but I think just getting it out there would be good for our image. And uh, I think it just, it needs to be out there in the public and I'll share it to our page. Um, and uh, I don't expect to get any bites, but obviously if we do, then we'll go from there. Um, I will also fill out the uh, the form though, so that we're kind of covering both bases. What do we think so what about- what do you mean by getting what out where? I want to get the call for artists for the portal portal gallery okay. so you're <laughs> out into the world. Into where, where are you going to publish that? So it will go up on the Facebook, making it public, or the, fa the Facebook page for call for artists. And it'll go, um, there's a number of other places that we publicize things. I'll have Angela help me. And other places, and, okay. Um, there's also the Valley, um, Advocate. Valley Arts Newsletter or something. Valley That's Arts Newsletter, which I need, I just found this um, and I, it's free, so I'm gonna make my yeah. uh, profile on there, and I'm gonna I'm gonna share it to there. So, uh, what do we think about that? Like doing both, covering both bases. Sure, I think ahead. that's a good idea. Do we also can we contact the artist who was there prior and just let him know that this is happening? So if he wants to do it again, he can apply just in case no one else does. I think we can, but I don't I don't have his information. I don't know who it was. I think we had it from last time, right? 
Um, it's, it's on the um it's on the it's on the sign at the it is at that at and I took pictures Cowden. so I can take a look at it okay Ben Cowden C-O-W-D-E-N and isn't it, uh, it also on um the town uh town hall site I think he is it's Ben Cowan Cowden C-O-W-D-E-N got it yeah, well, right, let's think about that for a minute. You know, we're going to say to him, we'd love to have you uh, uh, display again. But of course, if anybody else whatsoever wants no. to. No, no. I mean, in effect. No. no, no, no. We would say to him, we're putting an open call out. You were the last artist. We wanted to let you know in case you want to apply again. Okay, so you're not going to make any promises about that's good. No. I don't think yeah, so. Okay. We still need Just to go through a formal process for I, I still think so we just need to get calls for artists out and it's, it's I think it's good practice for us to get it out in the world and we'll still cover our bases with asking for an extension what do we think about that I think it's good yeah yeah that's good okay all right great um okay moving on to making it public um okay we have no applications yet uh, Gabrielle was invited to this meeting. She hasn't gotten back to me. Um, she has requested that our commission have input in finding and selecting the judges. So I reached out to you guys and said, hey, I'd like I'd love for you to give me some names and we'll um, start a list. Um, and I drafted a letter to send to potential jurors and I've got that uh, whipped into shape. I think uh, Lori took a look at it. So we have a, a letter, uh, a draft of a letter that we can send out to any potential jurors. Um, that will be from Amherst Public Art, and then you can put your name commissioner. Um, or, or maybe I will be sending these out. I haven't quite figured out how this works. Uh, Brianna or uh, Gabrielle is, um, I need to like sit down with her and chat with her. She's been a little bit hard to grab. She's she's very busy. So uh, I'm going to try to have a sit down with her and find out if if she wants us to give, give her the list or if we need to contact the, these people ourselves. So I will get back to you on that. Um, we have a posted deadline of May 14th as a deadline for making it public. I would like to request that one of my fellow commissioners make a motion that we extend the deadline to the end of May. I'll make a motion to extend it. Okay. Second. All right. All in favor? Raise your hand, please. All right, Jim, do you? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Motion passes. So uh, the deadline will now be the end of May. This will also refresh our news. Uh, uh, this will be a, a, a new subject to put out there in the town website and, and uh, on Facebook that we have been extended the deadline. So it kind of freshens up the news and I'll make sure that Gabrielle knows that so that she can send that out too. Um, hopefully she can uh, create a press release to send out. And if not, then I will. So we'll we'll figure all that out and I'll let you know. Do you, do you need more names of people to put on yes, that list? Yes, that's my next question. Um, Robert, Amy do you have Crowley. something? Amy Crowley, who used to be on the Public Arts Commission, who is now on another board that I'm on, okay. but um, she used to run the town gallery. Okay. And I am sending you a name right now, um, Shirley Jackson Whitaker. Oh, right. She's got an exhibit in the- um, North Amherst. Hole. No, yeah, North, I've got one there too. Okay. Whatever the gallery is called there in North it's Amherst. It's the local gallery. Okay. This is names for artists to exhibit. No, no. This, is, this is name for potential jurors for the oh, making of the project. Names of jurors. Okay, thank you. Yes. Uh, Robert, do you have anybody? Um, oh, I have a question first. Did we um, did we determine the number of members of the jury? Let me, let me read to you what we have because that's a very good question yeah. okay um we told the world <laughs> in mm -hmm. uh, in our uh all the literature on this we said that we would the art jury will consist of two apec members one representative from the amherst cultural district district one representative from the amherst bid two members of the public and town staff including representation from the planning department department of public works office of diversity equity and inclusion Facilities Department, with additional representation from the Amherst Disability Access Advisory Committee and the Amherst Design Review Board. Now, we came up, we didn't come up with any of this. This was done with our prior town planner, um, who was 
we were under the understanding was going to be doing the work of finding these people. Um, so um, I'm a little, uh, I'm having a little trouble coming up with names. I have two names, but um, it was a struggle because I don't, I don't know people just yet. So uh, I'm going to write these down and I'm going to talk to Gabrielle about it and see what she says. Maybe Jen Moisten. She's on the, I think she's on the equity and you spell her last name for me? M O Y S T O N. Okay. Moisten. Yeah. Great. Um, anybody There's have any also, other? Uh, I don't know her personally, um, but her name is uh, Catalina Arubla. She's the executive director of the multi arts um, program in town. Can you spell uh, her last name for me? Sure. It's A R R. U B L A Catalina is her first name. Okay. I know Great. her. Okay. She's Great. excellent. Great. Okay. Um, I have two names. I have uh Demetria Shabazz, who is a professor of black media studies at UMass, and um her uh, husband is very well known as, as a UMass professor as well. Um, and Letha Gale Prezet, who is a counselor at the middle school. Um, uh, she's a, a wonderful, a wonderful lady. They're having a lot of trouble right now at the middle school, as you probably have heard. Um, but Letha is a, is a, she's, she's amazing. I thought I would contact her and see if either she's interested or if she knows somebody else who might be interested from the middle school. I'd like to have a little bit more representation um, of, of schools, so. But we Those only are asking for two public represent, represent uh, jurors from the public, right? So we have a lot of names. We do. Um, I, I think, think yeah, what happens Moisten, if you get more people that say yes, then I'm a little right. Well, yeah. um, well, that's why it's a little unclear as, you know, I, I feel like we need to determine the size first to your point. And, you know, with all of those people who sound like they're town employees, that, which, I mean, Jennifer Moiston is, so... Great. I right. suppose she could fill one of those roles rather than general public, but yes. um, I mean, I was going to toss into the mix and I don't have a specific person in mind. I, and maybe, I don't know. I, I thought it, it might be nice to have a student, you know, someone from the high school possibly to okay. get. Um, okay. I can look at that because I work there. Yeah. And we definitely have to make sure we have someone of color. Well, yeah, we've got Jen. The two people that I have on my list are both people of color. Same with the person that I recommended, Shirley Jackson Whitaker, and she's an right. artist. And a, and a, yeah. I'm yeah. going to make a guess that if we send names to other people who are supposed to get names, they would probably like it, even if we don't pick them ourselves. So um, I think what I'm going to do is take all of these names and uh, contact Gabrielle and ask us, ask her what she would like us to do. That these are the yeah. people we've come yeah. up with. We have not contacted them, and and see what she has. Um, I think that's a good idea. I think we need to also talk with these uh, people who work for the town. Uh, I don't know the town people very well. Um, I could ask ask Angela if she could help us reach out. So, um, I mean, we can all look up the names of everybody on these on these committees here and the you know, office of the, the DEI and the facilities, um, the DAAC, um, but um, I don't have any insight into anybody who, who, who works in these commissions and stuff. Uh, if anybody else does, great, but I don't have any context. So what I think I will do is ask Angela, she's been there for a while and see if she can give me some names too. Okay, uh, and like this, like a facilities department people. I don't, I don't know those folks yet. I look forward to meeting them. So, okay. Anybody have anything else, or anybody else? So we've got one, two, three, four plus the two I have. So that's six, and a student would be seven. Um, uh, <laughs> okay. For, for, two, for two, for two, for, for two jurors, right? Seven Basically. names for two jurors. Okay. Right. Um, so I think we have to then talk with. Um, I'm blanking on her name now. That's uh, Gabrielle. Gabrielle. Gabriella to um, decide, you know, how to prioritize the asks. Then. Right. 
Okay. Yeah. Plus, like I said, they may love it that we have extra names because they may be having difficulty coming up with names and they may like to pick some of the ones that we don't. I think the first thing I will do is is contact Angela and ask her for, if she has any any names of people that she knows from these organizations because I don't really know anybody. And then the second thing I will do is send our list on to Gabrielle and see what she wants us to do next. And then Great. I'll get back. Yeah, good. All right, so we have uh, extended the deadline. So hopefully that will uh, hit the news cycle with some new information and hopefully we'll get some people interested. Um, we're trying to make that call easier to see. Robert was having a lot of trouble finding the call and I agreed. Um, that's why I'm wanting to put it on that front page um, of the website, of our, our part of the website, and also share it to Facebook. So try to get it out there a little bit more. Okay, uh, anything else on? Do we, do we have Instagram? Uh, I believe we do. I don't think Shoshona has the password anymore. So I'm not sure how to get into it. So I'm, that's, too, that's too bad because I think yeah. that would be a good place to share. Well, I think a lot uh, of artists use I'm gonna, Instagram. I'm going to try to reset it using the uh, the web in the email that she gave me with the password for the town art commission. So I will try that and I'll let you know. So if that doesn't work, I will volunteer. To, if you give me what information you have, I'll talk to Shona and see what I can do to try to get. To get it working. Make a new Instagram if we had to. It's not, you know. Yeah. A big well, deal. <laughs> I know that was in the back of my mind, actually. Yeah, yeah. You know, if we can't get in there, we'll we can we can get around that. <laughs> uh, okay. Moving on to the next one, we're moving on to strategic planning update. Um, I have so uh, Robert and I talked and came up with some ideas, and we'd like to propose some things to you guys for how to proceed for creating a process. For doing this work that we're doing with public art um and we, we talked about it and we agreed that we are we are each here for our own reasons we each bring our own strengths and i think that um we need to find a way to maximize those strengths and our and our efforts while at the same time understanding that we are volunteers um i want to honor your time and i think um i don't want you to burn out that is something that does happen a lot in volunteer work as i'm very aware having run a number of volunteer organizations i don't want it to happen with us um, so that's something that's very important to me. Um, so Robert is going to talk to you about this and hopefully we'll have some constructive conversation and figure out the best way to move forward. So Robert, you have the floor. Thank you. So I think in previous meetings, we, we at least touched on the idea of, um, trying to come up with, uh, a strategic plan that would help guide our work uh, because it feels like, you know, several of us are new. And uh, just since the fall, it seems like a number of things have, have, for lack of a better phrase, sort of been dropped in our laps. And, um, you know, it doesn't feel like we necessarily have had a chance to, um, you know, further clarify what we feel is the vision for the commission and, um, you know, to to define goals for the, the coming year. So um, I'd be curious to get your perspective. I mean, and Terry, uh, the discussion we had, you know, because our meetings are typically so full of kind of tasks that we have to deal with, we were thinking about scheduling a, a retreat and we can talk about whether this should be a half day or a whole day. Um, and really just devoting that time to um, focusing on this more strategic uh, plan and, and goals. Um, because, you know, we, we feel like we're, we're, we're not going to be as efficient as we could be if we're always just sort of um, in reactive mode, as opposed to being able to plan and, and have a vision and that would guide, you know, fundraising efforts, et cetera. So um, I'd be curious to to get anyone's thoughts on that. Uh, and then we can talk a bit more about what the retreat might look like. And I have first thing, you know, we'll have to do a doodle poll to figure out a time that works for everybody. Well, I, I think we talked about this. We talked about this and I, I thought the 
I think it's a, good, a great idea personally, and I think what we ought to do is pick a date and go forward and do it. Okay. I agree. <laughs> Okay. I think you've been putting out fires for so long that, uh, you know, we don't really have any time to take a breath and decide what we want to do, what our process should look like, you know, going forward. So let's so just I, think it's a great idea. I talked to Angela a little bit about this before the meeting, and she said that we just need to pick a date and uh, she will uh, try to find a, uh, or I guess we either she finds a location or we find a location and then we, we still have to let the public know and they are invited, of course, because they have to be. Um, so it just has to be a room that is large enough for uh, us and for uh, public to be there as well. So well, I think everybody... day, I will let Angela know and we'll go from there. So I can do a doodle poll. Good. Um, get that out to you. I did want to ask if anybody has a problem with possibly meeting on a Saturday or a Sunday because having a few hours, you know, uh, all together on a weekday is hard for a lot of us. So. Would you, would anybody be, would, would anybody have a problem with putting out like some weekend days? Oh, no. Uh, for me personally, I, I would, it would have to be a weekend. I, I wouldn't be able to have uh, the time during the week, unfortunately. Yeah, no, that's, I understand me too. Yeah. So uh, like a Saturday or a Sunday afternoon would, or morning would be better or afternoon. I can send out a bunch of potential options. Yeah. Mikey? So I think if we're going to have it at the town hall, it can't be on the weekends. Yeah, I don't think it's going to have to be at the town hall. I think we're going to have to have somewhere else, uh, possibly the Jones Library or there's, I think Jim is about to give us some suggestions. <laughs> well, no, I wasn't. I was going to say we should decide how long we're going to spend. I think that's key to figuring out where we're going to have it. So are we thinking uh, four hours max, Robert, do you think? Yeah, I mean, I feel like, you know, there's a law of diminishing returns i think if, if too long might not be as effective as as a more uh focused time so i i think probably half a day okay Four and hours. you know if we find we need more time we could always schedule a follow-up i think it's i don't think i guess you know i as we, as we move into the process i will think about what we want as an outcome from the meeting, I, I think, you know, I feel like we should try to guard against being overly ambitious. I feel like if we come out of the process with a couple of um, achievable goals, uh, that's that's a good thing, you know, for for the next year, and that's momentum to build on for for the future. So, I think to be realistic, you know, aspirational, of course, but but also realistic, given that we are all volunteers and um you know it, it it kind of feels like we're starting from scratch in a way so um there's no kind of about that robert <laughs> like, yeah we're starting from scratch so uh so uh, uh mornings or uh or afternoons better for people on the weekends doesn't matter on sunday's afternoons are better sunday oh, afternoons. Yeah, right. okay what about you Lori? Uh, Sunday afternoons can work for me. Okay. okay. All right. So let's, I'll send out some, uh, some potentials and we'll pick one and we'll move forward. Okay. I think a four I hour what... window to sit down and really, you know, have some, you know, the constructive conversations about goal setting and, and, you know, processes will be really good for us. Yeah. Robert, you have something else? Uh, no, no. I was wondering, is, is there in all of the materials that you've now gotten boxes ever gone through Terry um is is there sort of a um anything other than what's on the website Amherst website about what the this commission is charged with doing or or a part of uh, is, is there anything because I just feel like we sort of know about it because it's on the website or someone Shoshana told us about things that were going on but I'm a little lost in terms of, you know, there's, I, I don't know that, is there any documentation? There's some historical, there's some newspaper clippings of, of past projects that we've done. There's a lot of forms, uh, there's uh, folders about past projects that I can totally share. Mm -hmm. I'll be bringing this to the meeting, believe me. Okay, because um, one of the things, I mean, I, I feel like the website, you know, the Amherst Town website 
it's really outdated and it should really reflect, you know, whatever we come up with in our strategic plan um, going forward. And so that it should be fairly visible for, for everyone to understand who we are and what we do. I think that's a, a question that we're going to be talking about in our retreat. Um, Robert and I have been talking about branding, um, the possibility of having, uh, you know, working on some kind of logo and that kind of thing. That's uh, not the purpose of this upcoming retreat, but um, it's something that we, we want to talk about, um, having some kind I, of logo, clear identity. I think it should be included because I think we should be in this retreat, you know, revisiting our commission overview you know, what our charge is, what we say we're doing right. and our, really revisit it to see if there's anything that we want to change yes. or if we're, you know, if it's fine the way it is, because that's really going to be the foundation for, for what we plan. That's what so, Robert like, talked about was coming out of this meeting with a more, a clearer vision for what public art should be doing in Amherst. Right. And, I, yeah. I look back and I've got a document from 2020 entitled draft committee charge great so i will send that out to everybody yeah any any past documents that are would be would be really helpful and since we're we are creating our our, our own path forward here i think that'd be helpful thank you that's wonderful uh okay. Jim, just just to close sorry one clarifying question if there are some documents that um we would like to share regarding strategic planning, et cetera, before the actual get together. Um, I can I can send those as long as I'm not asking for discussion or a vote or anything. That's that's permissible, Jim. You can send them if there is no deliberation, meaning no discussion. Right. So just you just say, send them. Please see attached documents. Right. You can do okay. that. Okay. okay. Now, the, the other thing, it. let me just uh, say that the other uh, members of the committee cannot discuss the document with a quorum, and the quorum can be either a quorum at the same time, or it can be one where you get A talks to B, B talks to C, C talks to D, and all of a sudden the quorum has been talked to. They can't do that either, okay. but you can send them. Okay, so we and can send they, documents, we just can't really talk about them. So, so we're going to be a good idea to send them to me because I have to attach them to the minutes. If you're submitting them, if they're submitted to the meeting, then they have to be attached to the minutes. Okay. So Thanks. that's not, not a big deal. Okay. Uh, anything else for strategic planning? I guess I have, I have one question. Um, because I was looking at the website and I think I asked this early on and we never got an answer. Um, when it has the tour Amherst art, you know, that's kind of an old thing there. And I oh, wonder, yeah. and I think we asked this in the past, but I don't know that it ever got answered. Which art, is, public art in the town is the Amherst Public Arts Commission responsible for? Oh, good question. Which say that again? I'm sorry. Which or which or which art did, did was something that that our commission did? Is that what you're saying? Are we responsible for? Yes. Are we responsible for steward? You know, carrying forward stewarding. Uh, clearly, um, the Robert Frost, uh, Emily, one poetic dialogue right comes under us. Yeah, poetic dialogue. And I actually, I guess I should ask if where we are with that. By the yeah, way, I'm gonna, that's next. Um, but yeah, so poetic dialogue, but and on this list of, you know, all this art that's in Amherst that's here, that's public art, which of those are we responsible for um, caretaking, looking after which of it, you know, what's owned by the town? I think yeah. that's just really important for us to know what we're responsible for. That's yeah. already there. Yeah. It's and I like don't know. What are our assets and what are our responsibilities to those assets? That's something we mm -hmm. should probably try to bring to the retreat too. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll go through my files from the previous uh, appointment and make a list of what I know about. Great. That'd Thank be great. You. Yeah. Any legacy documents that you happen to find, Jim, that you think that might help our 
move forward. Um, if you could share those, really, really helpful. Okay, including documents. Okay. Okay. Um, and on that note, um, I wanted to talk about just the, and other business not reasonably expected. I just didn't have a place for this. Um, regarding the poetic dialogue, um, when I spoke to Shoshana last last week, uh, I uh, she said, she gave me the name of the person, which I have written down, and I have his phone number. And so I think what I'm going to do is, with your permission, I will call him and see if he can repair this, this, uh, this art and find out what his, uh, what his estimate will be. And if it is, I'd like to see if maybe we can approve, if we can vote for and approve to pay him up to $500 and uh, with no problem. And then Robert and I will both have to sign a check. Uh, needs two signers. Um, and uh, if his estimate comes in over 500, then I think I'm going to wait until our, our next meeting to get that approval. So uh, what do we think about that? I, I just want to get it done. I just want to get it off yeah. our plate, you know? Yeah. Okay. I, I, I move that we approve uh, paying up to $500 to repair poetic dialogue. Okay. I second. Great. Everybody in favor? Raise your hand. Jim, are you okay with that? Yeah, I just can't type and write and write your hand. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will be calling uh, J Jamil. I have his name written down somewhere. Okay, so I will give him a call and see what he says. And we'll just move forward with that. Um, I think that's all I've got on my list. Uh, anybody would like to talk about any other subjects or anything else um, going on? One, one question. So are the... I'm just on the website again. Are we responsible for those public boxes, electric boxes? Yes. So in line with the Electrify Amherst is a project that our town manager would like us to take up again. And I'm going to be meeting with him and asking him for a uh, a budget so that we can do that going forward. Um, Robert and I talked about the fact that we need to go to finance committee and ask for money every year. And we don't have any process for this. No one has said anything about this, but we know it's something we need to do. Um, that is a project that I think is is a fantastic project, and I'd love to see it see it bring brought back. And also, he uh, Paul wants us to bring it back. So I, what I have decided to do is just to make an appointment with Paul and talk to him about it and see, you know, if he can throw us any money at it. <laughs> And if you can't, then we will be, you know, writing some grants. We'll be appealing to the, the Mass Cultural Council. They have a deadline coming up in October for the grant cycle coming up. Um, so we'll we could ask we could ask for money for part of that for that for that um, project. So that is something that's kind of a future project. We can talk about that down the road. That is that is kind of my plan. Excellent. Thank you. Cool. All right. In the meantime, when you're driving around Amherst, uh, if you see uh, a transformer box that is a really been beaten with the ugly stick, then let you know write down the locations so that we know which ones we'd like to to pinpoint this time. And I I honestly feel like like we we center so much of our art and focus on uh, downtown. I, I would love to see uh, us reaching out toward other parts of town. You know, South Amherst has nothing. <laughs> this where I live. Too. With some pretty. <laughs> So yeah, be on the lookout for other uh, other places we can spread some art. I think that'd be great. Good idea. Thank, thank you. That's a good suggestion. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, if we are agreed that there's nothing else that we need to discuss today, then I would like to call for uh, adjourn adjournment of meeting. Anybody have a problem with that? All right. Okay. Well, thank you so much for your time. I'm so excited that we kept this to an hour. <laughs> Whew, I was so afraid this is going to be a two hour meeting, but it was not. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you, Terry. I will be sending yeah. you emails and letting you know these things that I will get back to you about. Okay. Thanks a lot. Great. Right. Thank, thank you. you so much. Nice to see you. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye-bye.